my first question, beginning in 2021, big boom with the deep space resonance, but you kept it very quiet. Huh? We only discovered on the last day, on the day of the launch. Uh, discover, what, what, you, what, is your, what you mean about... Uh... So the, the, the deep space resonance, uh, c'était assez un secret. Uh, on l'a découvert juste au dernier moment. Uh, le jour du mais je sais ah, yeah, yes, but be, yes, because uh, I, I, um, uh, it was an, um, it was one work uh, for a l many years, and um, at the end, I, uh, I uh, got some success with this uh, development uh, only uh, one year ago. Uh, when I work on my uh, device, on my uh, demonstrator. And um, uh, the, 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 the problem, it was also to, uh, to, to, to create a new things on the wristwatch yeah. because the demonstrator was on a big tool. And uh, I wanted also to avoid to to tell and to say something about that before to have a real things working and to be sure it's okay. And at the end, um, the 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 watch was uh, completely uh, assembled. Uh, assemble only at the end of the year, uh, maybe just before uh, Christmas. And um, uh, I, of course, I, 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 uh, je savais, I knew um, the, the, the deep space tourbillon uh, was working now since uh, three months, maybe. But I wanted to finish um, all things about my uh, final piece to put uh, movement in the case to try on the wrist, uh, on the wrist also to be sure uh, nothing will happen uh, until this final step and uh, and the final um, um, uh, test to 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 know it's okay it's it's why. I, I wanted to launch it uh, last year, but I, I, I preferred to, to take time to be sure and at the end to launch uh, one week ago. Uh. The, story, the story of this uh, timepiece is very fascinating, DNA. You started to be interested in resonance in 1996 when you were learning piano. Yes, yes. Oh, I, 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 I didn't start really in '96. In '96, something um, uh, something appeared in my brain about resonance because um, learning uh, in, in, in a musical instrument it's automatically another world. And as I, I discovered something about my uh, my piano. Uh, uh, because it was a, a very old piano made in the, at the end of the 19th century. I had to, I, I had to set it and uh, it was quite expensive in this time. And the guy said, Oh, it's an old, old instrument. And uh, if I, uh, if I um, adjust the, um, the piano now, it will change quickly. And I decided to do myself. Uh, uh, but for the first step to have an, uh, not so bad music, uh, but also after that to understand uh, how it was built and, and, um, to the fascination for this instrument, um, gave or opened some windows and um, I think opened my mind about, uh, another world. The resonance world, and, and uh, typically with um, not uh, like uh, Bre uh, uh, comment it's called, uh, anti Janvier made uh, two century ago, or um, Christian Wiggins uh, uh, noticed uh, in the end of the 17th century. Uh, 
uh, not mechanically. It was with some undulation and some acoustic world. And uh, and uh, in '96, I spent more time to understand this world. And at the end, I connected also maybe some something in the musical world to the watchmaking world. It's why I started to think about that. Yeah, yeah. So it's when we think that deep, deep space has been launched by you only a few years ago, your studies with uh, resonance go back in your studies of history. You mentioned Christian Huygens, you mentioned uh, Antique Jambier, but all your initial development happened before the deep space. So the deep space came after. Yes, in 2005, yeah. you were already planning how to incorporate Renaissance, uh, resonance sorry, in your world. Yeah, but you, you, know, you never know what, uh, what happened in your life uh, and, and how is, uh, how is organized. And um, for, for me, the resonance was one world, uh, one, one uh, um, way to explore something in the, uh, in the world, watchmaking world. But it was not the target. Uh, it was only to, to understand something or to imagine if something is possible. But I was not focused to, to create immediately one piece or one device or something to, uh, to uh, create a new technical things. Uh, at, the, uh, at, at the end now, with the, uh, on dit avec le recul, the background, mm -hmm. the, stepping back. with the stepping back, um, I think in life, it's important sometimes to wait uh, for something happen before your uh, mind or your, uh, your final uh, target. Yeah. Because if you want to, to go too fast or to, to create or to reach the target immediately, maybe it's possible to, to lose something at the end. And I created the Deep Space seven years ago, and maybe the Deep Space one, a step inside the resonance story for myself. If yeah. I, I, if I, uh, if I was working at this time on the resonance to reach um, success with that, uh, I, I will never imagine to, um, to mix together the three axis uh, tourbillon with the resonance. And at the end, maybe it took, it took time to have this device to put it in inside. And, and you, you never know. Absolutely. And the, so the deep space, which is uh, one of my grail watches, uh, the deep space is one of my favorite watches ever, already deals with the problem of gravity being a tourbillon, and of course he manages all the forces like torque that are normally uh, involved with watchmaking. So the idea for you came to integrate resonance into it. Is it more because of your imaginary world or because you wanted to achieve extreme accuracy? What of the two was the main force for you? Qu'est-ce qui t'a le plus motivé à la mettre dans une deep space Est-ce que c'était la précision ou est-ce que c'était parce que ça rentrait dans le monde Non, à la fin, la raison pour laquelle je voulais la résonance dans mon deep space tourbillon, ce n'était pas parce que le uh, tourbillon est un accuracy device. Um, and with that, it will be more accuracy. It was only um, in the original world, a uh, philosophical world. The tourbillon was made only to to remember the link between human and universe. Uh, to to explain the three dimension and to explain uh, to explain the fourth the fourth dimension three physical and the time. 
but in 2016 with uh, with uh, uh was with, with a, a, gra- a gravitational wave uh the discovery of the, of the gravitational wave it was evident to the, the tourbillon was created for that for the resonance to put inside one uh fifth uh dimension the undulation world um uh, uh come on this uh, acoustic world uh, to remind uh we are not in the rigid and fixed world as uh, the fourth dimension it's quite uh clear uh your 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 uh, your face don't change it's uh, the time don't change but the uh, gravitational wave remember uh, remember us we are not so uh, rigid and so uh, definitively that it's possible to change a little bit and to put in the in the in the um, tourbillon the resonance it was like a, t- a tribute to with my my small uh, um, capacity and my small uh, knowledge and skill put inside this strict uh, construction one thing to remember we are also something else because we are connected with things very far or further our world and maybe we are connected together with uh, um the atomic things with life with everything and at the end i wanted it was for me very clear um uh, my device uh, was working i i thought okay now it's possible to make a watch with uh, with uh, resonance uh, for the interesting uh, resonance movement but with my team we joked about the crazy uh, things will will have been to create a new crazy um instrument and the and the and the deep space uh, resonance is the result of this dream of this uh, life and uh, this skill also because uh, 20 years ago it, it will uh, it won't be possible to mix together the deep space uh, didn't uh, didn't existed it didn't exist and uh, and uh, and uh, the resonance uh, maybe uh would be no already would have been to early on on, on this world at the end yeah. Yeah. and uh and if you if you follow my mind <laughs> are you happy dna is are you happy this is your best achievement you think i don't know uh i don't know <sighs> Uh, the best achieve, uh, achievement it's quite um re- reductive um i don't like this i i don't like this word because the the last achievement i think it's my death uh, uh i have uh, i see, i hope to have enough energy and to have enough different id new id to continue to to make things or to create things uh, i i like it i like to spend time uh, 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 on my bench with my team to to develop and to try and to test and to and to fail uh, to find another way to create another things and uh, the the resonance is only one step uh, it's i think for the deep space tourbillon it's the ultimate step but uh, for my uh, watchmaking world it's uh, only one uh, floor of the building 
I hope yeah. to climb <laughs> for, uh, higher and uh, in uh, some other place. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you think in uh, watchmaking terms, do you think resonance is the next frontier? Because we've seen work on resonance from François Pojourne, uh, from Aldiman, recently from Armin Strom as well. Uh, obviously, your conception and your adaptation of the uh, principles of resonance is, is obviously very unique and original. But do you think there is still a lot to be done on resonance, like it's been for tourbillons, minute repeaters, and other complications? Um, it's an, a difficult uh, question and uh, to answer the right things, because I don't know where I am. I think this, this resonance is maybe a very close step to the um, maximum possibility to create the phenomenon. Um, it's open for everybody to look further that. Uh, if one new watchmaker or new company uh, start to work again to find another way, why not? Maybe something it's possible. I, I don't know. I'm not uh, um, uh, uh, definitively um sure i'm the last uh, step for the resonance or is the last step and the ul ultimate uh target uh the way I, i i i created that but i think it's at the end so simple uh then i don't and i don't see and i don't imagine how it's possible to create Uh, more simple than this construction. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, Vinay, to look a little bit backwards as well, in the last few months, let's say in the last two months, you've been also, um, because can we, can we remind, sorry, before I ask the question, the deep space resonance is obviously uh, years and years of work, of work uh, fine craftsmanship at its best, and of course, the price tag has to reflect that, and it's uh, over 800,000 um, Swiss francs. Uh, you, at the same time, a month ago, you worked on a project with Louis Erard, a collaboration, where you have tried to give, to share, part of your art at a very entry level with this collaboration with uh, Louis Erard, so the Louis Erard VNA Alter Limited Edition. So how do you find it curious that, at the same time, you're working on the two extreme of the spectrum. So the entry level, 3,800, I think, Swiss francs, to the 800,000 for the deep space resonance. Are you happy about these things happening in your life at the same time? What do you think? Yeah, I, I think um, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was good to work with uh, Louis Erard this year. Oh, we started more than one year ago. But to launch this year the, the, this piece with uh, this collaboration because it was to show also what it's my mind in the watching world. Um, and it was possible with one collaboration to get a piece with a Uh, not a cheap price, but a price accessible for everybody. Uh, my, uh, for myself, it's impossible to work uh, on one piece like uh, we, Louis Erard and to, to get this price. Uh, even if I look uh, uh, to produce uh, in the same way with the same suppliers, uh, I, my cost is immediately too high. And it's why to, cover, to collaborate with a brand like this, it's a nice thing to explain also for everybody, I'm not only in my world. Uh, my world is one place where everybody uh, has the possibility to, cro to cross my life, my work, and my uh, philosophy. And if something is in connection together because we are uh, human uh, and we are uh, 
alive, uh, it's possible to find a world to exchange our competences and um, to try to create something. Yeah. yeah. Without Wera, it would have been impossible for me to, to make a watch uh, at this price. Yeah. And it's also at the opposite for me to show it's possible to create a watch completely crazy. Uh, I spent one year uh, for two guys in my uh, workshop and uh, a lot of um, work about uh, from my uh, colleague on the computer to help us for the, all the construction. Uh, and we spend a lot of time for the quality of the finishing. It's the, at the end, the two opposite world it's possible to find in my work. Some collaboration, some piece created completely uh, by myself in my workshop and some time between different things also with different yeah. uh, range of price. Like when uh, what you did with the Grand Voyageur as well, it's, it was also a way to open to something different using this time and uh, and, and uh, auto courts caliber to try to uh, hit that price range of uh, you know more affordable price range. Yeah, and uh, the the Grand Voyageur one was uh, one was a uh, first step. Uh, more than 10 years ago, 15 years ago, to try what I, 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 I does with, um, with, uh, we are. Uh, it was another way, but I was still too uh, connected in the process. And at the end, the Grand Voyageur, it's, uh, it's more expensive than uh, we are because I'm still uh, close the uh, piece to check everything. With we, we, we are, I, 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 uh, I trust, I trust them, uh, to, to do a nice job. Uh, yeah, the, the, for the, for the, for the, uh, Grand Voyageur, uh, I have to trust my supplier, but I have to check everything. Yeah. And sometimes to explain, no, touch this. I want, uh, this type of polishing. Of a, of a quality of the assembling or something like this. It's why at the end of the Grand Voyageur, it, uh, it's a uh, piece in the, in the segment, a uh, Louis Rare segment, but it's more expensive. But it was one, uh, one, yeah. one way I explore and now I, um, I, uh, I share a little bit. Yeah, yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, Vianney, the usual question, you know, if we look at your history, of course, with the Antiqua, uh, still in the auctions, one of the most uh, valued timepieces by Vianney Alter, which marked your debut, uh, in a way, uh, in the scene as a master watchmaker. Uh, we've seen, uh, of, obviously, recently the revamp anniversary of the classic. Uh, we all know the trees, um, uh, the trio, sorry, trio day as well, uh, that I'm showing here in the picture. We have talked about the deep space. Uh, is there one watch you're very, uh, that is very special for you? It's difficult. Uh, um, uh, in, in, uh, which watch in my uh, career uh, is a little bit special? Yeah, maybe because it, 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 it made you understand what you wanted to be and uh, which way you would have followed. Imagine to ask this question uh, to a guy uh, who had, uh, who, who have uh, five, five uh, uh, children. Uh, which one is the best? Or uh, what, which one he prefer? Uh, I think it's, <laughs> it will be very, it will be very difficult to answer that. <laughs> I didn't want to ask it like that because I knew what you were going to answer. So, uh, um, I don't know. I, there are moments in a career, so you have three deca decades of career in watchmaking where you, you realize something and you go like, oh, wow, this means that I can go this way, I can go that way. Did you have any epiphany moment in your career like that? 
quel modèle t'as fait prendre conscience de la direction que tu voulais prendre uh, It's difficult to uh, to to uh, to remember uh, what happened in my career, but um, when I when I when I made the, um, I started to create and I made the, the classic janvier. Uh, it was one step where uh, when I understood, okay, now uh, what you want to do for the next. Uh, if you remember what you what you what you does did. what you did uh, before and uh, the classic janvier uh, the janvier number one was um, what was one um, job or one work to confirm what I like in watchmaking uh, not only as a device, a complicated device or something like this. It's also the quality of the finishing, the capacity to, to uh, share my, uh, my knowledge and my, um, my vision of how history, the, the history of the watchmaking from all of watchmakers, uh, who worked to develop this world. And the, the classic janvier was one key point or a, a crossway to know if I wanted to continue to, to run, uh, to a ghost, uh, like, uh, in, in some banknotes or if I want, uh, on my, uh, life, uh, and on, on what I like to to live, uh, and I think with the classic janvier, it was the beginning to get a new consciousness about uh, what I'm doing on this uh, world, and uh, it's why also I um, I started uh, I started. I, I, I started again to work on the, on the resonance and on some other uh, development. I, I started 20 years ago or 30 years ago and I stopped and, uh, and I forgot. Uh, the, the janvier was the flag to say, Vianney, now, uh, what you want to do? Uh, to be happy? Uh, in, in your job, to be happy in your life, to be uh, happy with your colleague, with your friends in this, uh, crazy world. And I decided to focus on this. Maybe it's why now the team, it's quite small. I spend my life between, uh, uh the Middle East and, uh, uh, uh the Europe. Um, And, and I think this one was the key point. Very good, very good. Uh, before I ask you one very good question, I just uh, spot it. Um, on the deep space resonance, we are talking of a triple axis tourbillon with a double balance wheel uh, linked through uh, resonance. So we're talking of over 370 parts only for the uh, mechanical part uh, of the three axis system. We're talking of 42 uh, fully polished uh, uh, curved pillars and so many other complexities. Do you think that today the classic Janvier is still your most complex timepiece or now the deep space uh, resonance has taken that position? Uh, it, it's, uh, the, the classic Janvier is still a very, very difficult piece to, to make, uh, definitively. Uh, because uh, it's not only what you see, the complication. It's also uh, what is it. And uh, sometimes one guy is very simple. Another one, the same human, uh, or the same guy with two arms, two legs. It's very complicated. And at the beginning, it was the same uh, things. The, it's two different complications. Uh, the, the, um, 
the um, uh, the resonance it's quite very complicated because it's a very delicate device by the construction and by the way to realize to get at the end the right uh, the right mechanism but the 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 classic janvier it's also an, a very complicated piece because you have to explain some point of view in the watchmaking world with the heritage uh, to finish or to use different material and to create also a very light constru construction for that it's quite similar as uh, a uh, uh, the classic janvier and the resonance is two very light device mechanical device yeah. but two at the, I, I i think at the same level but yeah. Yeah. in two That's different right. rooms Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, there are another few more questions about the deep space, but I like this question. I want to ask you first from uh, Watching My Wrist. Watching My Wrist is asking, if you were not a watchmaker, what would you be in this world, as you just said? <laughs> Astronaut? <laughs> 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 to to leave uh, to, uh, to leave Earth, <laughs> ça, hein? mm -hmm. to leave Earth because uh, and, and and I think uh, if I started to be astronaut uh, 30 years ago, uh, it, it, it would be it would have, it would have been better or good because now on Earth is very <laughs> a little oh. bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and um, bon, this one was but uh, another world also with my hands it will be you know, it would have been uh, to be a pianist yeah is right yeah because you work with your hand and with your brain and also you live in another world the sound communication language common for everybody but also very unique on earth i agree i agree i play uh, badly some instruments as well and i totally agree it's a different dimension i also play some instruments so it's uh, very interesting and um do you follow uh, what is happening in the scientific community with what's happening with spacex elon musk Jeff Bezos, uh, that are obviously claiming to be very close to be able to transport human beings to Mars now that they know that they can land a rocket back after a mission in space. So they are even saying with Elon Musk, Elon Musk, if I'm not wrong, is claiming that with $15,000, you should be able in the next few years to travel to Mars. Do you follow that? with interest or are you more on the science science fiction kind of uh, uh in the science fiction kind of universe my, my point of view for that it's um I, I i i like to to think and to take to to, to take care about earth and about um, ecology and about uh, life on earth but i'm very also fascinating uh by an uh, by the human journey and to explore space i think it's inevitable it's inevitable, inevitable. and uh, and uh, all, all of my heart and my my uh, energy it's to support um uh decision and uh, um um explore exploration like this because at the end around one basic idea to leave earth and to travel in space you uh you close the connection between humans you create a hope for uh, the future and at the end you you forget uh fight uh, co connection fight uh, relationship um it's one nice world because i'm uh, for for me it's a nice world because i'm still 
fascinated and uh, and uh, connected with uh, Star Trek philosophy. Uh, one future positive uh, where life will be uh, the top of what you ex expect and um, no disease, no money, well, excepted with the Ferengis, but it's one one uh, field to joke with this species. <laughs> but it's it, it, it i remember one one uh, sentence or one things one cop uh, us cop said to gene Roddenberry once the cop uh, came back at his house or at his flat with a very bad mood about uh, the world and about uh, uh, humans and he started to 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 watch Uh, Star Trek. And after some episode, it was again on the hope level, uh, hope mind, yeah. because he thought maybe something will happen. And to explore uh, our world outside, even if Mars is, Mars is not so far, it's one challenge. And if humans, it's uh, uh, work together to Uh, to to go further the impossible frontier this it's the future very fascinating uh, another another question about your watchmaking uh, how do you choose the materials that you use uh, why mainly gold um, instead of steel Pourquoi Comment tu, tu choisis les matériaux que tu utilises Pourquoi de l'or à la place de l'acier What you, What is your mind about uh, gold uh, à la place uh, it's, uh, it's instead a It's a question from a from a follower here. He's just asking if you have. Um, how do you choose when you make a watch? How do you choose the material you're gonna use for the case? If uh, there is any ah. factors you keep in consideration. At the beginning, uh, I ch I chose. Always for the case, one metal with high value, original high value for the metal, not for the, for the time to spend on to create the case. For the uh, basic value, because it's rare, uh, because it's complicated to, to find on earth or something like this. Gold was expensive and was one, uh, a fascinating metal, uh, for um, a lot of civilization and at the end my work was quite so um so expensive when i arrived at uh, on the on the on the deep space uh, my choice my choice was a little bit different because gold or platinum is not really the original vision of the deep space space uh, in space <laughs> it's quite very expensive to uh, to launch gold or platinum or maybe in the inside the electronical things or for some experiences but the the rocket in platinum no it's too heavy and Titanium was for me a not cheap metal and a modern uh, new metal for the new uh, technology or the new uh, conquest, like, like uh, uh, the space conquest. And it was quite uh, not normal, but evident to use the titanium for this piece. But for the anniversary, it was also another way. It was after uh, 20 years to remember one metal is not more expensive than another one. It's only human conception or human perception because it's quite difficult to, 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 uh, to remove the ground to collect the platinum. But at the end, steel is also a nice metal and rare metal. 
not so rare, but to create the, the, the small pieces, the quality of this, uh, of this, um, of this alliage, um, oil, alloy, alloy, alloy. Right. this alloy, um, to have, uh, uh, enough, um, resistance and uh, enough, um, um, right function for what you want to do. But, and when I, when I made the anniversary, it was, to, it was time also for me to, uh, to pay my, um, my, um, my mind uh, when I forgot still is also interesting. Is the same things than gold or another one. And I never made any cases in uh, steel. And at the end, uh, even on my uh, on my uh, antiqua, it's on in gold or in platinum. But the value of the watch is not the metal. It's is the quantity of work to realize that. And for the for the for the anniversary, it was uh, only twenty pieces in steel. I made each cases each case myself, each part of the case myself. At the end, the value, uh, the final value is the same if I make in steel than in gold. And it was the way to, to pay my debt, debt mm -hmm. uh, about this metal. I forgot, uh, so is an important metal, uh, for the, for, for everything around us. And, uh, and also in the, in the, during the, Industrial revolution still was the base of this new world. And, uh, iron or steel. And in the, in the, in this, uh, small collection to use again the steel, it was to remember the value is also, uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Very clear and very interesting. Uh, one question from, uh, Smiley Code. Because of your fascination with the, uh, uh, universe. Uh, is there anything happening in uh, in very dark black, you know, with solutions like Mosu black or Vanta black? Are you going to experiment on dark, on darkness in general in the future? Any plans to do that? Est-ce que tu comptes utiliser les noirs absolus comme le Vanta black? Um, we had uh, we had some discussion with my team about a uh, window to show uh, some pieces like the deep space tourbillon or the deep space, re the deep space resonance. Uh, I, I bought some years ago a uh, porthole uh, from a uh, Soyuz TM-31. Uh, 31, no, 33, I think. It was one uh, porthole flying in 2001. Uh, to the space station. And I want to create around that, uh, um, window, uh, something to, to create an, uh, universe for the watch. And I wanted to imagine I am inside the vessel on the right face of the portal. And outside the space, dark and black space, and the material to give the top black, it's this one. You have the portal. Oh, yeah. So you. Yeah. And this one. <laughs> uh, uh, flow? Flew? Flew. This one flew in 20, um, almost, uh, ah, now 20 years ago. Yeah. And I, I, I imagine to create around this one a curve, uh, room, a curve room to, to put the watch inside, but to avoid to see things in this room. This, I think this black will be the top to put the watch like in space. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, Smiley Code, for the, yeah. And, and until I find one way to, to launch my uh, watch in space, really. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Vinay, you know, there's a lot of questions, and I have to say thank you, everyone, for staying with us for so long. We had a, a bit of a technical issue. My sound is not clear as always, uh, as it always is, unfortunately, but uh, some factors we can't control. I hope you all enjoyed. I know there are more questions, but I think we can then say to Vienna, thanking him for his time, that maybe we can do this again another time, and we we'll do our best to answer all yeah. the questions. Yeah, with one pleasure last, for me. One last question, uh, Vienna. Now you've done the affordable Vienna Alter watch with Louis Rapp. You've done the, the peak of the spectrum with the deep space resonance what's next where are you going now uh, next it's uh, now to to find a way to produce enough pieces for the customer uh, rec requested to to get uh, ones of my work and uh, I, I i will spend the new this year to produce something to end with a accessible price also Accessible price is not always uh, easy for everybody, but to produce something to to uh, answer all of my customers. So there will be something also at the entry level price. Uh, so also, very good, very good, good to know. Good to know for those like me that still have to be fortunate, as we all hope to to become. Um, Vienna, it's always a, ple a pleasure. I am loving doing this. Every time I see you, like you do, and uh, as uh, uh, live long and prosper. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I hope we can do this again, and uh, we will be in touch with you very soon, Vienna. All the best. All the best for you all. Thank you. Take care.